today in this video we're looking at how to query logs for Access Server. We're looking at this in two different ways. One is through admin user interface and the command. As you can see, I am logged into the admin user interface right now and I also have an active SSH uh, session going on to our um, Access Server. So in a, in a bit I'm going to use this uh, to run some commands to query logs. Uh, at the time of recording of this video, we are on version 2.11.3. All the log messages created by the access server are sent to uh, var slash log uh, slash openvpn as dot log and uh, also to a SQLite database. So if you look at the admin UI under status, uh, we see a link uh, to log report. So if I click uh, on this link, this is where I can uh, query the logs. Now we have options. Uh, we can uh, just run it as it is without filtering any uh, logs. Uh, we can filter it by days, uh, hours, or minutes. So if I want to look at what happened in last day or last 24 hours, I can choose one day and then run the query and we can see what's happening here. We can even choose a range between the dates. So for example, let's say I chose um, for last 30 days and then if I run the query logs, I can see um, everything that happened on my access server in the last 30 days. Now, when it comes to the output, I can limit the outputs to uh, any numbers that I want. For example, if I choose the last 10, I want to see the last 10. So I can um, choose 10 here and then query logs again. One last thing I'm going to show here, as you can filter your logs, uh, you can drill down more by uh, typing any uh, anything here in this filter box. For example, if I'm looking for a certain user, Tim, I can just type his name and look at the entries for Tim. Another user, if I'm looking, like Midas, I can just type Midas here and look at all the entries here. I can also look at by service or a VPN IP addresses. Uh, if I'm looking at the VPN IP address range of 172, I can type 172 here and look at all the entries for that uh, VPN IP uh, subnet. So and let's look at the command lines now. I'm going to bring up the command here. I'm going to maximize this window here a little bit. So everything that's available through the admin portal is available here uh, plus some more. So if I go ahead and list out the warlock directory, um, here we go. As you can see, uh, the access server log rotates automatically. As I mentioned earlier, all the logs are not only stored here, but also sent to SQL database. The most efficient way to query the database uh, from the command line is using the uh, log DBA tool that is located in our script directory. So let me go ahead and switch to that directory, list everything here. So this is where you can see the log DBA. Log DBA is in a script, so we'll, uh, we'll need to launch it with the dot forward slash notation. If you need to learn more about the log DBA, you can use the syntax uh, dash dash help. Uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and type it here. Uh, log DBA dash dash help. And as you can see, a good uh, number of outputs shown here that you can use. So here I'm going to run this uh, command here, the uh, VPN IP underscore filt. So we're going to um, uh, filter for the VPN IP address. So the, again, the command is going to be uh, dot slash log uh, DBA um, dash dash CSV uh, dash dash uh, VPN underscore IP underscore filt equal um, 172.27.248 and for the last octet I'm going to use the wildcard. So let's run this and as you can see here it's going to show us um, the information that we query. Now I, I can do that by the service as, as well and um, uh, any any other ones that it's available here. So there are a lot of options here and it can be very useful when troubleshooting and debugging needed.